Well, the biggest event in Santa Barbara, Fiesta, kicks off tomorrow. And joining us right now is Eric Davis. He is uh, with the Old Spanish Days Committee. And Eric, uh, thanks so much for coming in today. This is a big week. Yeah, big week and Viva La Fiesta. That's right, Viva La. We have the wonderful fo uh, poster here for uh, Fiesta Romantica, which is the theme of this year's Old Spanish Days Fiesta. How did the theme get chosen? Well, Fiesta Romantica, El Presidente Cas Timpson met his wife during Fiesta, as did many locals. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so that that's the origin of the theme, Fiesta Romanica this year. There are so many great events that you can do throughout the week of Fiesta. Kind of walk me through some of the things that are happening over the next few days. So tomorrow, the ribbon cutting, uh, midday, down at De La Guerra, officially kicks off everything. The Mercado. And the Mercado. So the Mercado's open and they run through Saturday. The big event tomorrow night is Fiesta Pequena, where they light up the mission and dance. And it's, it is beautiful. Yeah, it's it beautiful. is. It's one of the best events. Um, I. It's one of my favorites. If there's one thing that you can do during Fiesta, I suggest going to Pequena. It's. It's like nothing else you've ever seen before. It's beautifully lit, and the dancing is just incredible. It's. Re it's really magic, and I believe it's broadcast live on your it sister station. It is. You can watch it live KYT. on KYT, KYT and uh, streaming on KYT.com and Fox 11 as well. And then, uh, you know, there's a lot of dancing and showcase at Santa yeah. Barbara's great events. Tardis de Ronda, Noches de Ronda, dancing at the Courthouse Sunken Gardens, and then on. Friday is the big historical parade, and we say it's one of the largest equestrian parades in the world, yeah. but this year it truly is. I, there's 600 horses, wow. 1,200 people, 94 entries, 10 floats, and they're expecting over 100,000 uh, spectators for this year's event. Amazing, and that all kicks off at noon on Friday, correct? That's correct. All right, and again, another thing you can watch over on KUIT. They're going to be streaming and, uh, and broadcasting all of these, and the events just keep keep on coming. They keep on rolling uh, all the way through the Children's Parade on Saturday, take a pancake breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a concert at, at the courthouse to end Sunday. Um, Project Fiesta is running at the Santa Barbara Historical Museum. If you haven't seen that, that's worth checking out as well. And for a full lineup of, of events, you can look for these uh, brochures which are around town, and I brought a few for you. Great. Uh, which has everything. Yeah, maps, we'll show these maps and, and locations. When you, um, when, you, when you get one of these, these Fiesta brochures, they have maps inside that can kind of walk you through the entire setup for Fiesta and what's happening in downtown Santa Barbara and even um, toward the Mission and, and the Mercado del Norte, which is up a little further. Uh, Eric, what are some of the other things that people can just expect? And this is the 90, what? 91st 90 Old Spanish first. Days Fiesta. Wow. And you could just expect a lot of dancing and celebration and festivities all across Santa Barbara. It's some of the historic historic venues from the Mission to the Courthouse uh, to the Beachfront Parade. So it's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of people in town and we are ready. It sure is. Um, when you think of Fiesta, you think of just all the people that are going to be coming here and doing so many fun things. Is there something you like in particular? Do you have a favorite? Well, I have a lot of, lot of favorites and every year I try to add one thing to my list. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, you last yesterday you got a glimpse of our spirit and junior sure. spirit and the joy yeah. that they bring and tomorrow we'll have the flower girls here and uh, today they're going to be out and about at the retirement homes bringing joy to this entire community. But you mentioned um, the uh, Fiesta Pequena. Yeah. And to me, that is really that is Fiesta. one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, when it's the sun sets over the mission on that August night, they light it up and the dancing take place. There, there's nothing like it. It is beautiful. And the history that, is, that comes with Fiesta is, is all part of it. And there's fantastic, I always love the way you're dressed. Well, so the fantastic you. costumes and, and things that our people are wearing. Um, when you, when you go out to Fiesta, people are all dressed up. Do you have any suggestions on what they should wear? Um, there's a lot of things you can wear, but uh, just add some color to yeah. your lineup. Uh, add, a, add a sash, add some, some neckties, a, a hat are, are popular, keep you away from the cascarones. And there are these fun buttons as well that uh, you can get around town. Tell me a little bit about these. Yeah, so, so this is the official pin. Every year we have an official pin and poster. You can get them online at sbfiesta.org. That's sbfiesta.org. And I brought a couple for you and, and the team. And Fantastic. Um, yeah, these are our official pins. We, love um, we also have the poster and the brochure. All right. And Eric yeah. Davis, thank you so much. Again, you can get all of these things throughout town. They're going to be sold at different places. And um, look for John Palminteri everywhere. He's <laughs> got all kinds of free stuff he's going to hand out during the week. Stickers and things like that. So he's, of course, the uh, unofficial Fiesta Master of Ceremonies. So Absolutely. Eric Davis, thank you so much. Enjoy Fiesta, everybody.